Good evening. Welcome to the Catholic Charities Annual Fall Ball. My name is Nancy Coons and I'm the Executive Director of Catholic Charities of the Texas Panhandle. And tonight, it's all about food. The proceeds from the event tonight are going to benefit two of our major programs in our agency, the Interfaith Hunger Project and our Emergency Youth Shelter. Annually, Catholic Charities of the Texas Panhandle serves over 3,000 people throughout the Panhandle community through its programs and services, providing affordable housing to 57 individuals and families, a safe place for approximately 300 youth at our emergency youth shelter, resettlement assistance for 160 refugees, food to 702 elderly or permanently disabled individuals, assistance on the path to citizenship to over 1,400 people annually, collaborating with optometrists and ophthalmologists to provide corrective eyewear to over 180 individuals annually. Tonight, it's all about food. Our focus is on two of the most vulnerable segments of our population and the most basic of human need, which is food. Our Interfaith Hunger Project serves people who are 55 and older or are permanently disabled and are in financial need. I would say around 95% of all of our participants receive less than a thousand dollars a month to live on. This is located on the first floor of the Guy and Saunders Resource Center. Each month we provide food to over 700 individuals who would otherwise have to forego utilities, medication, or other critical needs. We keep track of how much they spend. We're just here to provide them a little extra food for those who can't afford it themselves. Our emergency youth shelter provides a safe home to youth ages 5 to 17 who have been removed from their homes due to neglect and abuse. I don't think there's a question about the importance of the work that we do here. This is an interim facility where they stay until they are placed in foster care, are adopted, or are returned to a healthy environment with family members. We provide emergency placement for children who are either in the custody of the Department of Family Protective Services, um, Potter County Welfare, or Potter Randall County Probation Services. During their stay with us, they go to school, their medical and psychological needs are met, and of course, their nutritional needs are met. The annual combined cost for food for these two programs is $125,000. Please be generous tonight. We cannot do this without your help. I hope you have a terrific evening. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.